Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, man? It's the multiple stream king, LaDerek Williams, CEO and founder of the Paid in Full family. What's going on, y'all? I'm back with another motivational Monday, man. What's going on, man? I hope y'all having a great start to your week. I know I am, man. I um had a lot of work to do. You know, I like to try to get my motivational Mondays done during the morning, uh, but you know, coming towards the end of the year, man, you know, just busy. Uh, with business, you know what I'm saying? We make it just make it moves, man. You know, we already my team and myself, we already in 2018. You know, and what I mean by that is is we already our 2018 has begun. Like all the goals and you know, things that we're setting out to do for 2018, that's already in motion. We're gonna wait till 2018. You know what I'm saying? And uh really just focusing on being great. You know, focus on being great. And that's 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 my topic for the day, you all being great. You know it, it's okay to be great. It's okay to be great. Okay? It's okay to be great. Go hard. It's so listen, here's the thing, man. You know, people say, uh, be humble. And this is the, you gotta understand the definition of humble, man. You know, that's that's not being arrogant, okay? That's not being arrogant, but it's okay to be great. It's okay to wanna be great. It's okay to wanna be the best. Nothing wrong with that, man. Okay, because we're trying to achieve greatness. It's going to be a character. Okay, it's going to... It takes a level of consistency and it takes a level of, con of discipline, you know, to even become great at anything that you're uh, trying to accomplish. You know, anything that you're trying to be great in. I don't care what it is. Okay? I don't care if it was driving an 18-wheeler and you want to be great at it. You want to be the, 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 the number one 18-wheeler driver in the world who never had a wreck you know excellent driver where you you become so great at it man that you're running your own trucking company okay and you you got about 20 30 drivers driving for you now you know it's just about being great man whatever you do whatever your craft is whatever your niche is okay it's okay to be great you know and with being great man it means you're gonna have to make some sacrifice and you're gonna have to put in some work you have to do more than what the next person is doing okay you're gonna have to see what your competitors are doing and you're gonna have to Look at that and see, now for the 10x what they're doing. It's okay to, you know, to compete in a sense just because you're trying to take your level of greatness to the next level. Like a lot of people say, man, I don't, I don't compete with nobody. I compete with myself. That's true and false. Because I believe everyone, you know, we all, we all have different fields that we're in and we're looking at the next person seeing what they're doing. You know, there's always someone that's doing better than what you're doing, okay? Now, you do, you definitely supposed to keep your, your eyes on on your own, you worry about yourself, okay? But at the end of the day, it's if someone's doing better than you, I'm looking at them like, okay, what are they doing and I'm not? I need to take it up a level. I'm trying to do better than what they're doing. So at, in a sense, that's competing. That's competing, man, and it's a it's it's a friendly competition. Not not saying that you're trying to talk down on them and you know you for to put dirt in their name and trying to find dirt to see what are uh, they cheating and doing. I mean, it, don't go that far with it. But look at your competition, man. See, I mean, see who's in your field. See what they're doing. See who, look, look, look. You should be looking at someone who's doing the same thing you're doing, but they're doing it a little bit better. You may have already achieved a level of success, but I guarantee you there's someone higher than where you are. You know what I'm saying? So you take a look at them and uh, you use that as fuel. You use that to motivate yourself, man, to be great. They said uh, Michael Jordan used to create controversy. You know, he used to, he used to create these things to, to make him go out and want to compete. You know, he 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 would he would he would find some the smallest thing that someone said in the interview and take that and really just turn it into something it really shouldn't have been, but just to fuel him to go out there and go 110, 120. You know what I'm saying? Somebody would have said the smallest little comment and he took it and flipped it to make it seem like it was something real derogatory and he was talking down on him and talking down on his game or whatever the case, and he used it as fuel to Make them go out there and go compete at the highest level, man. Because sometimes we, people, you, you, people need motivation, man. From it just people create their motivation different ways, man. And I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the one who like to like to create controversy and things of that nature. But I like to keep myself motivated. And the way I keep myself motivated, you know, I'm looking at some of the people who are in the same field I'm in, and I see them on a higher level playing field than where I'm at right now. I'm making progress, you know, but I, I'm trying to get to where they are and I'm trying to surpass them. I'm not trying to just get where they are. I'm trying to surpass them. So in order to do that, I got to work harder. 
I got to work harder. And with me working harder, I'm I'm building, you know, the confidence and greatness is coming with it. I'm uh, I'm positioning myself to be great. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay to be great, man. It's okay to want to be better than the next person. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's okay. As long as it's not coming from a negative space to where you want to get there and you say, oh, yeah, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. And all. That's where the arrogance come in. You got you to gotta be humble in that sense. But, you know, you hear some people saying, man, oh, you want to... You just want to be the man and this things that and it's just not about being a man, but it's just about being great. I want to be great. I don't want to be average. I don't want I don't want to be just good. I want to be great. I want to be phenomenal. It's nothing wrong with that. That's the that's the true formula for success. Achieving greatness. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan, his level of greatness and what what he's done, man, people are still talking about him today. And he don't even play ball anymore. He ain't played ball in 10, 15, almost 20 years. Okay, so I want to be, the, it's not that I want to be talked about and have my name in people's mouth, but I want to be the best in what I'm doing. Like, I'm not in this field of online, making money online just to make average income. I want to make the most I can make out of it. And so if I'm going to make the most I, I, I want to make, I have to become great at what I'm doing. Okay, so I buy the I, I, I buy the training tools. I'm, I'm I'm investing in mentors. I'm I'm listening to the podcast. I'm buying books, and I'm doing this consistently on a daily basis. No days off, seven days a week. Okay, sleep is for suckers. So you know I don't sleep. I rest. You know I I take naps. But I don't sleep. I don't sleep, man. I I I'm probably average man every day, five or six hours. You know some girl tell me you know that's dangerous. You no. Know, Five or six hours is good. My pastor's 90, 91 years old. He's 91 now. And we was having that talk. And he was like, yeah, I mean, with five hours, he was in the military. Five hours, you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? This old eight-hour thing, that's that's a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do get that eight hours. But for the most part, man, I average about five hours of sleep, and I'm good. I'm taking my vitamins, eat me an apple a day. Uh, I'm drinking my water, and I feel fine. Okay, I feel fine. I'm definitely taking care of myself. Like I say, you know, you got your days where you going to, you know what, I'm just going, ooh, I'm going to give me about 10 hours. It's not like I'm, I'm not getting no sleep at all, but I'm trying to achieve greatness, you all, and sacrifices have to be made. Okay, when you're trying to achieve greatness, you're going to lose some sleep. Shoot, you might even lose some friends, man, because you can't partake in everything that they want you to do. You got to learn to t- say no sometime. No, I can't go this time, man. I'm trying to, I'm, 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 I'm on a mission to be great. And with me being great, I gotta sit home. I gotta study. I gotta work on my craft, man. I gotta work on my craft. God, you gotta tell your family sometime, man. I'm sorry, I can't make it to this family event. You know, I'm I'm, I'm on a level of greatness, and right now I'm committing to what I'm committing to. You know what I'm saying? I'm committing to what I'm committing to, whatever it is. I didn't want this to be this video to be uh, centered just around what it is I'm doing in my opportunity. Okay, you'll see on my motivation on Mondays. I don't even talk about what it is I do business wise. You subscribe to my channel for that, and you can see how I make my money. Uh, full time from home, married with six kids. You know what I'm saying? So, I just it's so many different things, man. I'm trying to be great. I'm trying to be a great parent. I'm trying to be a a, a great husband. You know, I'm trying to be a great uh, youth leader for my church. I'm trying to be great, man. It's just, it just it, it takes work, but it keeps me going. It keeps me alive, man. It keeps me pumping and pushing, man. It keeps me going to the next level, man. I'm never. I'm never bored. <laughs> when you're trying to be great, you have no time to be bored. People say they're bored and don't have nothing to do. It's because you're not trying to be great at something. When you're trying to be great, man, it takes work. And you got to keep working and keep working and keep working and keep working, man. And if somebody might tell me, they people may say, I feel like you're great already. That's good. That's your opinion. I don't feel like I'm great yet. I still got a lot of work to do. I have goals to achieve that I haven't hit yet that I'm going to hit. But it, it takes my level of commitment to being great to get there. So, man, be great. Be great, but don't listen to these people telling you, man. You need to be more humble. You need to be. You, you need to be more humble. Trying to be great, that you just trying to be cocky and throwing people face. Nah, now if you're not, now if you're thinking about it, how I'm thinking about it, okay. Now you do got people out there that want to be great so they can throw it in people's face, man. And I honestly believe that you know that crown will get snatched from them real quick because God don't like ugly. It's, it's, as 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 easy he can give it to you, he can take it away. And that's just my belief. So, you know, I'm definitely going to remain humble. I want to learn as much as I can learn so I can pass it down and pass it down, man, and share some of this knowledge with people who want it. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's all, man. This is a little bit longer motivational money than what I had, but I just it was just in my spirit today, man, just about being great. 
uh, at whatever it is you want to do. And I'm just on a mission to be great in all aspects of my life. E.T. say, you know, you got some people, man, that just they, they just great at making money. I don't want to be just great at making money. You know, I want to be great at making money, but not just great at making money. I want to be triple double is what he called it. I want to be triple double, man. I want to be great in my marriage. I want to be great as a parent. You know, so I want to be great in, in God's eyesight. The God's smiling down on me because I'm, I'm I'm doing what he wants me to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a great human being all around. When people see me, you know, they they just, the light shining off of me. And they see, uh, you know, it's just something about me. You know what I'm saying? They're just, I'm a good person. They just want to help. I want to be great in all aspects, man. So, you know, I got a lot of work to do. And you have a lot of work. If you want to be great, be great in all aspects. Whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're trying to do, be great. Be great at it. Be great at it. In order to be great, you got to work at it. All right? I'll see y'all on the next video.